hey guys welcome back to my channel um hope you guys are good so this is a vlog i have a thing in office today where we're supposed we have a potluck right a lunch and learn thing so we all were supposed to bring things i was actually the one that was taxed to be i was given the task of organizing it giving putting out the list out there what people are going to bring and then i decided to do too much i said i was going to bring penne pasta and chicken um wings nice wings so i just thought to vlog so i've been cooking for a while and i thought to show you guys where i am on that chopped onions i already chopped my onions here i have my pasta that i already boiled another pasta here i have my green veggies green red yellow and um, orange i have my carrots here i have my pot eating already so i'm just gonna add oil into it just adding oil, not too much. I guess that should be good. Oil. Adding in my veggies. Don't mind me, guys. I'm using a hand, so might be a little clumsy, but we knew. So while that is going on, I have my chicken here, which is looking all nice and good now. I'm thinking to maybe put some honey lemon in it but i think it looks good this way that might be an overkill i'm just gonna so it's supposed to just be fried wings i'll just add some chili to it i think that's good i'll just add some chili and some parsley to garnish it let me let it do for let's keep that for about five more minutes to make it a little bit um yeah Going on nicely, nicely, nicely. Gonna add my ginger garlic paste, guys. This is a tip for you always have ginger garlic paste in your like I blend it so that whenever I need to cook something, whenever I need to cook, it's a lot easier for me because I already have blended ginger and garlic. The aroma is everything, guys. Just a little more oil, a little more oil. There we go. Okay. To season up, we're adding some seasoning cubes put here yeah that's the only part just a little of that I understand different people have different um, you know just affinity and tolerance of salt so just to be conscious of that Salt went in there. Curry, of course. I love curry, guys. I love curry in my. Yeah, so curry. I do not like the thyme here. I bought thyme and I do not like the taste of thyme in Canada, so I hardly use it in my things anymore. Yeah. So add some little water. I threw out my pasta water there so I'm just gonna get water from here. Keep it off. Just getting some water. Just adding a little water because I feel like the pasta is still a little hard. It's not so soft. Oops, I made it here. So we cover this up, guys. There you go. Hi guys, so food is ready. Pasta is going to be going in here. And chicken is going in here. Pasta is going in here. Ooh. Look at that. Look at that. Ooh, it's hot. <laughs> I made myself proud here. <clears throat> How would I carry this thing, sir? 
So I'm going to be garnishing the pasta with some parsley. I would have had a cheese too, but I'm not really a fan of cheese, so I do not have cheese at all. Chili flakes. Much because although I already warned them that there might be some extent of spice in it. Next is our wings all oh, looking wingy so we have eight people coming guys and two of them are vegetarian so let's say six and i have like for 26 years so maybe i should add a little more at least one person can take five each uh, okay yeah that's good we're good there. This also, I'm gonna hide some chili flakes. Why is this thing not coming out? And some parsley also. It has to be presentable, right? So let's make this presentable. I did not taste this table. I hope it is sweet. <laughs> so, guys, look what I'm taking to my office potluck. Yes, 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 yes. I'm so proud of myself. So, yes, guys, that's what I'm taking to my office potluck. I need to go dress up now. Dress up now. Dress up now because I have just 10 minutes to get ready. I'm probably not going to be eating the pasta. I'm going to be trying other people's food. I'll let other people try my pasta too because a Nigerian babe can cook. Yes, I know it. <laughs> All right, guys. Bye. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Hi, lovelies. Hi, people <laughs> so welcome back welcome back so this is me just getting back from my potluck my lunch and learn program at work and um guess what guys everyone loved my pasta <laughs> everyone loved the pasta everyone loved the chicken wings oh my god i got a lot of compliments and there was also so many things I wanted to show you. So, like, of course, it was just eight of us or nine of us. And so there was leftover. And then we all had to bring home leftover. So I wanted to show you guys what I came back with. Okay? Mm -hmm. So I have this beef samosa that was so good, guys. This is beef samosa. Hope on now. Abba. And this one, they call it jalapeno peppers. It's jalapeno peppers, but with cheese. This is jalapeno peppers. This is samosa. I have that. We have leftover donuts for our desserts. And then they were like, Kemi, will you take? I'm like, of course. I have a sweet tooth at home. Hi guys, hey lovelies, welcome back to my channel, it's your girl Kemi. Um, so this is probably going to be part of another vlog, I don't know, let's just leave it at that. So hi guys, um, welcome back, it's Kemi again, yes it's me again. Um, why did I even decide to vlog? Well because I have a couple of things I wanted to discuss with you guys and we're having the first snow in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. Today, October 25th, is the first snow. Let me show you guys what it is looking like right now. It is always so beautiful. When it is falling for the first time, can you guys see that? Yes, this is my view right now. From my living room. Yeah guys this is the first snow um 
So guys, just a little gist about this. Um, yesterday, I often was informed in our school by a teacher that um, it was going to snow and she was so excited. She was like, I want to see the snowfall. I was like, you've seen snow before now. You were, we were here last year. You saw when the snow fell. But she was so excited. I was, as a matter of fact, before she went to bed, she kept looking. She kept checking that snow, snow, snow. She wants to see the snow. I'm like, girl, go and sleep. But snow is not falling until today. And you will be in school when snow falls. So I'm sure she's probably going to be looking out um, to look at the snow. What's happening out there? Oh, yeah. And all these vehicles are now moving around. Those snow movers. Those big... We used to call them caterpillar. I don't know if they are called caterpillar, but snow, what's the word now? Snow mover. They are now moving around. So yes, guys, October 25th, we're having our first snow. It's always so beautiful when you just see those flurry dropping. Of course, they are not staying. They are not settling. They're just dropping and melting on the spot. So it's just beautiful. Yeah, the weather is now getting cold. We're now in the minus right now. So, um... Well, it starts. It has started. We have started, guys. We have begun. <laughs> we have begun. Also, I just wanted to quickly touch on a topic um, just for other people here in Canada. Like something that might be useful for you um, is having a very good or high self esteem, right? Have a high self esteem. Have, um, especially for workplaces, for when you get to work, when you get. To, get a walk and i think i already talked about it when i traveled to waterloo for a workshop work workshop so today the gist guy is that today i was embarrassed this is not my first embarrassment yet but today i was embarrassed so this is the gist guys um we had a work meeting or we had yeah we had a meeting and so i of course the weather is cold and i'm like okay um well i did not ask about dress code right but usually if i'm going to we, our work is like it's not like a, an official dressing thing we we dress down right you can wear casual so i just thought i would wear this um this sweater giving it to us at work and just wear a jean right and then i got there of course it was a nice hotel I think that was when I should have gotten the cue that, okay, maybe you should dress like really nice, okay? But then the weather is cold. I can't wear a dress. Well, I could have worn a pants, right? And a nice shirt or top. I don't know. But my point is that I got there. I was even early. I was like, ah, I made it because I thought I was not going to make it down early. And then my two colleagues came in and they were looking in fact even me i have never seen them dress that um that much before like whenever we're coming to the office they do not dress that much they were looking all nice and i was embarrassed guys i was almost entering the ground <laughs> i was like kemi what are you wearing i felt so out of place i felt so bad i felt like gosh what am i wearing kemi you are wearing jeans these people are wearing jackets blazers coats all suited up and i'm wearing guys immediately at that moment i felt so out of place and i just said it i so i voiced that i was like oh no i should have asked for dress code well anyways it was like my first official meeting meeting event and so i was like oh i should have asked for dress code i didn't know that um this and that and so and they were just like no it's okay it's okay and if there's one thing you should know if there is one thing you should know it's okay it's not it's okay here yes my hands are paining me guys <laughs> one thing you should know that oh it's okay it's okay it's not it's okay here okay so um i was like uh so my my manager said oh it, well it's just that i've never known you to even when we we're going to the office i wasn't the one who re would really dress down i would still dress because my husband as a rule he said it's best to be overdressed than to be underdressed right i don't know why i did not remember what my husband will always say he always says that thing it's best to be overdressed than to be underdressed but guys today i was underdressed and i felt really bad guys i felt really bad and i felt not so good with myself but still i did not let that weigh me down i did not let that push down my self-esteem i did not let that push down my confidence in myself because i know what i have up there right so i was still flowing i was still by the way 
what your dress is not really like i like that's not really the point of going right it's not about um checking what i'm wearing and all that right so i hope you guys get the gist um i just came here to rant i guess i just came here to i don't know who who is gonna pick one or two things from here but um so many situations like that might happen to you especially here in canada and then you might just be way down because trust me when i say it was like everyone was looking like nice and all suited up all jazzed up all makeup -y, on red lipstick i was like hey god kevin what have you done yeah so i just thought to come here so my advice for you if you have you have a work meeting you're going for a work um event you're it's best to be overdressed than to be underdressed. I think I once said it before and I was like, oh, here, no one is actually looking. If you're wearing the designer, of, girl, you have to dress. You, ha you still have to dress really well because <laughs> today I learned a lesson. So anytime now, if you have any, well, except from just normal work hours that you can dress down, if you have any event or any meeting, I will dress up. Guys, what did I say? I will dress up. As a matter of fact, I have vexed. Friday, I'm going to shop <laughs> for some new things. Yes, guys, I just came here to rant. Bye, guys. Enjoy this vlog, okay? Give me a like. Give me a thumb. Let me know, eh? If you've ever experienced such a thing before, like when you go to an event and then you say, eh? See what people are wearing. What am I wearing? Let me know, guys, what you think in the comment section. Let me know if you've ever been embarrassed, especially if you are living here in Canada, okay? All right, guys. Bye. Or even in Nigeria. Anyway, let me know. Let me know. Just, just let me know what you think, okay? I want to read from you. Bye, guys.